this is Bern. Welcome to yourgreatlifetv.com. This is another edition of Get the Love You Crave Q&A where you get to ask me a question about how to find deep, intense passion with a man of your choice or if you're already in a relationship, how do you rekindle that uh, and anything in between. Today I have not one but two women who asked me pretty much the same question in different circumstances. So I'll describe it briefly and then I'll explain because uh, I think this is something that so many of us struggle with and face at one point or another. The first lady is a woman who's been married for three years and she is a little bit scared about the lack of passion that her current relationship, uh, she's in basically, she's experiencing her current relationship because things started out incredibly exciting, passionate, uh, and throughout the time, and right now it's just three years into the marriage, she feels a completely different sense of passion than she used to when she first got married. Um, and another woman, uh, single, emailed me that she feels afraid to enter a relationship because usually she has this intense uh, connection with men and she's found out, at least in her past, that whenever a relationship starts, that magic, that sense of aliveness is lost and sometimes faster than she thought it would. So the key question from both women from different parts of the world actually, one's from the US, one is from uh, Europe, uh, are asking the same thing. How do I sustain passion? And there's, I mean, I could actually talk for an hour, about an hour for, about this. So I'll just give you two quick, easily implementable, like today, right now, when you turn off this video, you can start doing if you want to change around your, the level of passion you're feeling in your relationship. First thing I'd like to share is that the number one reason why people stop feeling passion over time is not because it's normal. It is common, but it's not normal. And that's a big difference. Things that are common, are not usually normal sometimes. Uh, what I mean by this is that although it's common because it happens to so many people, it would be normal for you to feel more passion and more love and more appreciation the longer you spend time with someone and the more you, you get to know them and the more you get to really express your heart fully to that person. But that's rarely the case. <laughs> and the reason for that is when you create a spark with someone, when you engage in a deeply committed relationship with someone, when you're not sure maybe sometimes if that's gonna work or not, but you're still feeling that intensity, you are what I call doing passion. You're not feeling passion. Feeling passion is something that you get to experience as a result of doing passion. And I know it sounds like a play on words, but it's not. You get to do any emotion that you get to experience. And you get to do passion by what do you do when you meet someone? You're, number one, you're willing to do anything for that person. If that person is, uh, needs money, you're willing to sell your watch to give her, uh, this person money. If this person uh, is unable to meet you for lunch but you really want to see them, you wait, even if it's like 2 in the morning, you wait up for them and you actually have this intense uh, conversation. Even, if, even though you may have work the next day, you have to wake up at 6 in the morning, you really put this relationship as the forefront of your life and you give it r real attention and real consciousness and you, you basically do passion. You let this person know in no uncertain terms that you're willing to do whatever it takes to be with them and that person feels his intensity from you and reciprocates as a result. So when you do passion, you experience passion. What happens after maybe six months to a year after you, you start going out with someone or you enter a relationship that's committed with someone, well, you, you start taking the other person for granted. You start uh, focusing more on the challenges and you start focusing more, you have to wake up early the next day, oh, uh, sex today, ooh, that's hard. I mean, let's save sex for the weekends because right now I have to wake up tomorrow. So when you start with that mentality, and I'm not trying to put this on you, everybody does it at, at times, but when you leave there, when you actually live in a place where you stop doing passion, you stop, uh, really giving that person praise and you stop uh, engaging with depth <laughs> and consciousness and full presence with that person, I mean, you, you, what else would you expect but to lose passion? So the way around this is to simply realize, the number one easiest way is to realize that find out what you were doing when you felt this intense connection with that person. And really, I'm not asking you this as a hypothetical question, I'm asking you to, in reality, 
sit down after you, I mean, if you want to feel passion, if not, then maybe this is too much work, but, but if you really want to feel passion, sit down when you finish watching this and write on a piece of paper 10 things you were doing when you were intensely engaged with someone, when you felt like, my God, your heart was about to burst because you were so uh, in love with this person. And you'll find out that many of these things, from the way you dressed to the way you spoke to this person, to how important they were in your priorities in your life, to how much you were willing to let them know in different ways, shapes and forms that you actually adore them, you'll find out a discrepancy between then and what you do right now. So if you want to experience the same emotions, then it's super simple. Go back to doing what you were doing before. It's as simple as that. I, it sounds like too simplistic, but I urge you and I invite you to try that. I invite you to, to know that passion is something you create with your being, with your presence, <laughs> with your just with who you are and when you're willing to go there, when you're willing to realize that it's not, it, I mean you can buy into the bullshit story that you're meant to lose passion and as a result experience that or you can say you know what that's what most people experience but I don't have to be one more of a pack, I don't have to follow everybody else's uh, story and I can actually create something unique for myself. And in order to do that it's going to require more depth and more consciousness and of course more effort for my part but the results the rewards are a life that's unmatched in intensity and unmatched in sensuality and unmatched in the level of just excitement that you have every single day. So that's pretty much for me, all for me right now. If you have a question for me, uh, just send me an email to bernardo at yourgreatlifetv.com and I'll be more than happy to share my perspective on it. In the meantime, I invite you to challenge your ideas about what passion should be like over time and to do whatever it takes to get yourself to experience the intensity of fully committing to someone, not just in word, but with actions. <laughs> Thank you.